Your Clover Mini comes ready to set up and take payments in just minutes. In the box, you'll find your Clover Mini, a hub, power brick and power cord, a paper roll, screwdriver, and a quick start guide. Let's get your Clover Mini connected. First, decide the best direction for the hub cable. Use the provided green screwdriver to secure the cable. Next, connect the power brick to the hub. And the power cable to the power brick. To power on your Mini, simply plug it in. Select the language for your setup, then follow the setup wizard to activate your device. Next, we'll connect to your network. You can connect via your Wi-Fi network, cellular service, or Ethernet, whichever works best for you. We'll walk through connecting to each. If you prefer the Ethernet option, connect an Ethernet cable to the hub, then to your modem or router. Your device will automatically try to connect to the internet and will let you know when successfully connected. Just be sure to turn off any Wi-Fi networks. To connect to a Wi-Fi network, tap Configure and select the name of your wireless network. Enter the network password. And tap Next. Cellular connectivity is a great backup option when Wi-Fi or Ethernet goes down. LTE-enabled minis come with their SIM pre-installed and will automatically connect to a cellular network when powered on. Your device will now download and install the latest version of Clover software. It will reboot once after the initial install. While you're waiting, Clover Support will send you an email with the activation code for your device. The code will be sent to the email address used to set up your merchant account. If you have multiple Clover devices, each device has its own unique activation code. Use the device serial number to match it with the right code. If this is the first Clover device you've activated, you'll be asked to enter an admin passcode. This passcode gives access to your Clover devices as the owner or admin. If you already have an admin account, the setup process will skip this step and your apps will begin installing. After your apps install, you'll set a few initial settings, such as whether you want to require a passcode to unlock the device, where to prompt for tips, either on the device or on the printed receipt, and whether the device will be merchant-facing or used only as a customer-facing display. You can edit these settings later in the Setup app. Next, we'll install the printer paper. Open the printer door and insert the paper roll. Then print a quick test receipt. Your Clover Mini comes feature loaded. Here are a few of the features you'll love. Plus, there are a variety of Clover accessories that can help streamline the day-to-day. -to, -day. to learn more about getting started, go to clover.com help.